Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. This is in the District Court of Butler County, Kansas. Case entitled Bronson Rogers and Taylor Kingsley. It's case number 2024, DM 162. Uh, Bronson Rogers appears by Zoom. Taylor Kingsley appears by uh, her own Zoom both representing themselves. Uh, this matter comes before the court at this time for a review hearing following a previous hearing conducted on August the 6th of 2024. At that time, the court made certain interim orders, including establishing essentially a parenting schedule for the mother and to make a decision regarding school enrollment. Uh, a review hearing was set for today. Um, Mr. Rogers, I want to address this issue first. Uh, I just note that uh, your request for a transcript was filed in the case uh, back on the 16th of August. I just want to address one concern I think you had that you thought would be resolved by a transcript. I'm needing this record to ensure the safety of my daughter. I do not believe it's in the best interest for my daughter to be in any care or presence of Aaron Wilson convicted sex offender, Taylor, mother of Scarlett, insists the judge allowed this despite my remembering otherwise. And I trust that Aaron Wilson would be the boyfriend that was discussed at the last hearing, Ms. Kingsley? No, yeah, Aaron Wilson. He wasn't talking to you. He was talking to me. All right, Ms. Kingsley, you don't need to be rude. Just... It's my stepfather. And just okay. to know, I have not let her see him. Um, I was on the phone with my mother, and he said they had a video call. Okay, just one at a time. I, uh, Ms. Kingsley, you have the floor. Thank you. I was on the phone with my mother, and he happened to just walk by and say hi. And that was it. And he wasn't even saying hi to her. It was to me. Other than that, there is I have abided by every single court order. Okay. All right. I don't have any docket notes regarding anything concerning a, a stepfather in this case, Mr. Rogers. On the other hand, you're entitled to order a transcript and pay for it if you want to. That's certainly your prerogative. And if you feel like that would shed some light on an issue in the future, you're certainly entitled to do that. All right. Uh, Ms. Kingsley, uh, I'll ask you first. Uh, the court did establish some visitation for you under a structured schedule at the last hearing in August. How's everything going? Uh, for the most part, it's actually been going pretty decent, other than I have asked Bronson civilly to please quit bringing his girlfriend around because we have issues with each other. I, I It's gotten to the point, sir, that I have to have my dad take her in and outside to pick up and drop off because I, I just can't stand to be around them anymore because I'm literally getting screamed at in my driveway. <clears throat> Mr. Rogers, uh, address that, please. Um, the last three times I have not brought Eden with me to go pick up Scarlett because after I drop Scarlett off, I go to Augusta to play D&D with friends until it's time for me to go pick up Scarlett. So Eden hasn't even been around the last three times. The only person that's been with me is the only person that's been with me is my friend Ricky. That way, I have a witness with me of what goes on over there at that over there at that house. But there was some confrontation between these two ladies. Previous to that? Uh, yes, uh, because Taylor cannot it hold a civil me. conversation. She always explodes and goes immediately into cussing and attacking either me or Eden. She... I'm also going to note oh, just a minute, that just a minute. He's, had no, no, don't interrupt. You didn't want him to interrupt you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Ron, Mr. Rogers has the floor. Yes, Go ahead. Sir. 
Um, I don't know if you were able to look at the stuff that I submitted last time, but there were a lot of text messages between me and Taylor throughout the years that were examples of how she just, how her actions are towards me all the time. It's always aggressive, combative, argumentative. Okay, Mr. Rogers, let's focus on those last three exchanges. The Your girlfriend wasn't there, so that should have kind of settled things down a little bit on these exchanges, but you're saying that there's still confrontation initiated by her towards you on these exchanges, or is the last no, three been... Not, not since the time that I brought over a cup for school to use and... I tried to ask Taylor if I could get the cup back, and she said, no, you can get it next to me. Only for the fact that I didn't know where it was. That was the only reason I said no. I really can't believe that you two would even consider having an argument over a cup. With the higher stakes involving rights and responsibilities concerning your daughter. All right. Uh, if I were to ask you at this time, Mr. Rogers, what, if any, orders are you seeking from this court today? Um. Well, I did submit something yesterday. I don't know if you got it or not. And uh, it was an updated parenting plan compared to the one that I submitted from the first court date uh, that I got. I, I went and seek counsel. I had a consultation with counsel and they helped me build this. So uh, after beginning in the resignation process, I believe that this is the best way to establish a parenting time that supports school's relationship with their mother and social, physical, and emotional well being. I, I have sent this to Taylor to review before our hearing. Um, I continue to request does not or has zero contact with Aaron Wilson, the stepdad of Taylor, who is a mon who is a registered sex offender. Um, I what was his to... crime of conviction? Huh? So Rogers, what was his crime of conviction? The um, crime is from over 10 years ago. Well, okay. And I didn't ask when it happened. I'm asking what the crime of conviction was. Mr. Rogers, do you know? Yeah, it was fondling of a minor uh, ages 14 through 16. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, go ahead and continue, Mr. Rogers. Um, I was going to ask if we can have an exchange location because Taylor has been able to take to McDonald's every time that I have uh, dropped her off for the times that she has seen her. So I was going to ask for an exchange location instead of her me dropping her off at her house, which was going to be the for Taylor to pick her up and then for me to pick her up whenever I have to go pick her up. Okay. And then the phase one for the uh, parenting plan would have been every Saturday from 11 to seven, Taylor is provided to, or is to provide adequate nutrition for lunch and dinner during her eight hour visit. Uh, I not sharing ramen noodles with her sister, uh, pickup time would be 11 a.m. Taylor picks up uh, and arranges transport for herself and to get picked up at the and then I pick her up at 7 p.m. where I arrive, provide transport for me and to pick her up at the grocery. All right. Uh Ms. Kingsley, your reaction to his proposed parenting plan? Um, I agree with it for the most part, but there's a few points in it that I'm not really okay with. Because um, he thinks that my kids share meals with each other, and they don't. I have plenty of food for both of my kids. And what that whole thing was about Scarlett did happen to share a couple of her ramen noodles with her baby sister. And so I just don't know why that's even a, a thing. Um, I have gotten my water fixed since, since our last court date. I have had DCF and DECA do walkthroughs of my house. And in part of the parenting plan, it says that it is required of me 
to get a license to be able to have stayed the night here. I'm selling my car. My car doesn't even work and I have transportation. Like I don't mind having to change our exchange locations. That's fine. But I don't feel like it should be a requirement of me to go get a driver's license when I'm not even driving at all. It also says or an arranged emergency plan for if and I already have care. that figured out. I have emergency transportation if she were to ever need it. Which which is what, Miss Kingsley? My my mother or my brother in law that lives here. Okay. How far away does your mother live? Literally like less than five minutes down the road. Uh, I even have friends. Does she work a job I away from home? Miss Miss Kingsley, does she work a job away from home? No, my mom stays at home. I see. All right. Um, the only thing I honestly would like to ask is just to, I don't feel like I should have to keep jumping through all these hoops, even though I have done, I literally every day I am doing stuff to improve either my, my mental, my self-care, my house. I am always taking care of my children. That's literally what I do. I am a stay-at-home mom right now. I do activities with my daughter every time she's here, and she's getting upset that she can't even stay the night here and spend more time with us other than just six hours once a week. All right, he's proposing it uh, expand to eight hours. Yes, I'm proposing I can, to expand I can, to eight I hours. I don't feel like it's fair to me i've already spent the last six months without even being able to see her and already messing with our relationship with each other so i just feel like it's it's a little tedious like when she's um, literally getting upset with me because she can't stay the night here when there's no reason that she shouldn't be able to already considering I've done more than enough to prove that she can be here. Your Honor, she has said that her room has not been planned and she can't sleep in it yet. Her room has Taylor my laundry. Okay, okay let, her, let her respond to that. Okay. My, in her room had my laundry in it. It was, I, I have, I'm, I'm a girl. I got a lot of clothes. And I just literally two days ago went and cleaned all that up. That was the end. Like, yeah, she couldn't play in her room, but her room would have been set up before she would have been able to sleep here. And we had to move stuff in her room to fix the water because the water heater is located in her room and we had to pull her bed away from the wall. So I just haven't had the opportunity to move the bed back yet and set everything back up because that bed is solid wood and I just can't move it myself. And it took two years to get all the water fixed. Because our pipes busted. They froze over over the winter and every single pipe underneath of our house busted, but it is fixed. I had my pipes burst in December and I had it fixed the day of within three it hours. Just good for you, Bronson. Not everybody's you. Okay, let's not argue over plumbing. Well, that's what that's what that this is. This is my point, sir. This is like, it doesn't matter what I say to him. He always has something to fight with me about. And then as to like the pick up and drop off. Yes, there are some text messages where they got me to react in a way I didn't feel was appropriate for me. Yes, they still have the text messages and I still have the text messages. I actually went and called my caseworker right after that. And that's why I had my dad start exchanging back and forth between him so that I could avoid the drama. And he, I am kind of think it's a little funny how he didn't even deny that his girlfriend has been screaming at me because from the first meeting that we had at McDonald's, because she's sitting there asking me multiple times if my toilet can flush. And I said, yes, it can flush. Then she thinks it's okay to call me the B word halfway across a busy McDonald's. 
And those are the interactions that I keep having with them. And he didn't tell her to stop. He didn't tell her to not talk to me. He just literally let her do it. And all, no, all I while, them, my child is present through stop. all of it. You asked me if I would leave the McDonald's. And I said that Judge Ricky said that I can sit in a different booth, take let your we'll girlfriend your sit time. there and yell at me. You let your girlfriend sit there and call me a bitch in the middle and of the McDonald's. And you were yelling back and forth, Taylor. You both are I was fault. not yelling at her. I was upset because that was the first time I saw my kid in over six months. All right. Uh, Mr. Rogers, this, this child does not belong to your girlfriend. Yes, I know that. Therefore, I don't understand why she needs to be part of the equation at all, especially during exchanges. Or okay. anything regarding interaction with with the child's natural mother. It's the child's natural mother is the one that has rights here, not her. And I would just and all assume, I've done is try to defend okay, myself against her. She just needs to avoid contact with Miss Kingsley uh, entirely to avoid conflict. I don't want this child to see conflict in in your relationship with one another. And if there are significant others friends, family members, whoever that are interfering with you two having some sort of reasonable parental exchange, they need to be left out of the picture entirely. It's not good okay. for the, for this child. On the other hand, what Mr. Rogers is submitting to the court in writing, Ms. Kingsley, is a proposed parenting plan that you, you said earlier you really don't have a whole lot of problem with. Uh, I don't quite understand the whole ramen noodles concern. It seems I blown out of proportion. Every time she came home, but, she says that she shares her meal. They literally really? have their own meals. I can go show you my fridge right now. And I, and really I think they should, Miss Kingsley. Okay. Like I, so, my kids have their own meals. I like I don't even know why we're all. Let's even keep it. Let's keep home. it like that. There. Okay. If you're already addressing it, continue to address it. The only other thing I wanted to address is if my daughter can be around my significant other, considering he is off probations and corrections and our no contact order has been lifted. And what was two months ago? And uh, what was his uh, crime of conviction that he was on probation for? He got Where arrested. Because Just tell me. Can you tell Hang on, Mr. Roger. <laughs> wasn't even home when this yes, happened was. okay i, I i'm no, not asking about because i, I just want to know what his like, crime of conviction was just tell me what he was convicted of i'm trying to if he would stop talking just tell me My, the crime he, what is it wasn't home okay but I, brent put his hands on me while i was pregnant all right he so got he got convicted of for two and a half months and then we had a no contact order. But since then, he has gone through therapy. He has done, went to POs every week. He has done the work that he has needed to do. And he already knows that if he puts his hands on me again, he will get arrested and go to prison. What is we his name? We have not had any issues with each other. Brent Haynes. He has never harmed my children. He has never done anything to my children. And he's been yeah, in Scarlet's face. He was two. Right. Look, th this court recognizes that people move on in relationships and establish new ones. Just as Mr. Rogers has his girlfriend, you apparently have this significant other. True, Ms. Kingsley? It's the, it's the same person that I've been with for the past three years. All right. My point being that you have a right to establish a new relationship. As long as he is not... Uh, he doesn't do anything that would be adverse to the interest of your child. The court is not going to put some restriction on your ability to maintain that relationship. However, I will order that you not leave this child alone with him. I, I think won't. the father's concern. Well, okay, as long I'm, I'm going to place a specific restriction on this child being left alone with this boyfriend. He may be a good guy. Okay. But I think I the father's concern is legitimate. It's your parenting time. I want you to spend the time with her and always be present. Uh, his crime of conviction, while troubling, he apparently successfully completed probation. 
Uh, you need to make sure you protect your child at all times. It's your responsibility, Ms. Kingsley, in the same way it's Mr. Rogers' responsibility to make sure his girlfriend doesn't act adverse to this child's interests. But you okay. do just need to manage that within your own home. Okay. So there is no restriction at this point other than not being left alone with him between you and this Brent Haynes at this time. And I don't want him interfering any more than I want Mr. Rogers' girlfriend interfering with exchanges or communication between the parents. And even before all of this, that has never happened. My boyfriend has never gotten in the way of mine and his parenting because he respected me enough to not do that. All right. It's a situation that you have to manage from your end, Ms. Kingsley, and there's just nothing that can go wrong with that. Okay. I just yes, wanted sir. to be known that in the in the report that it just stated that the children were at the house. And I also wanted to be known that Brent has gotten up in Scarlett's face and screamed at her. And no, Scarlett he does not want to see Brent. She tells me that she doesn't want to see him. This morning she told me that she freaked out and says, I do not want to see him. She is scared. It's because you're making her scared, because you're manipulating her. I'm not manipulating her, Taylor. I you're manipulating her. her to where she feels awkward to even come over here or even say anything to anybody. I also want to bring up the fact that Scarlett's told me that she was scared to tell me because her mom told her to keep things a secret. The fact that she talked to Aaron no, and Jen no. on the phone and the fact that she talked no. to Brent on the phone, too. No, she did not. She did not. She and the did only bring thing that up. I have Taylor, are you at my house when she's talking she to me? Well, no, guys. you're not. We're not going to turn this into right. an arguing session. You can do that on your own. He doesn't talk to me regardless. He doesn't even communicate with me at all. Even when it comes to school, he does not communicate my with daughter me and says, and I don't says, have to I want to tell you so bad, but I'm scared because mom told me not to. That is bad. That is all not right. okay. Only that is all right. Hey, both of you stop. At this time, the court makes an order adopting phase one of Mr. Rogers' parenting plan. Effective immediately. Okay. It does not address uh, any restrictions on the boyfriend, so I, I need not change that. It's on. It's 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 on the next page down on the return to phase one. The There's no domestic violence between Taylor. And it says reports of any no domestic violence between Taylor and Kingsley or Taylor Kingsley and Brent Hayes. Pains. Well, how in the world would we implement that? I mean, report. What do you mean report of any domestic See, violence between Taylor Kingsley and Brent Haynes? Police report. How I would also, you monitor that? Uh, recording. Telling me if incidents happens over there. Well, no. I want to note to the court that either Bronson his girlfriend or somebody else that really doesn't matter in this equation have called false reports on me to the cops and DCS multiple times now. All right. And if I were getting abused, I, I'm not. I okay. First of all, myself. all right, Miss Kingsley, why don't you just be quiet for a second? Okay. <laughs> um, the court is not going to adopt any of the return to phase one. If section Quite frankly, those may constitute material changes in circumstance, but to have some sort of blanket rule that could be arbitrarily uh, applied, um, I'm just not inclined okay. uh, to uh, include this gotcha provision. Uh, however, the rest of the parenting plan, um, let me look through, see if there's anything else. The only thing I want to note is if I have to have a driver's license, considering I don't even drive. Is, isn't his requirement that you make an effort to obtain a driver's license? Is there an issue about you pursuing one? I can't go get one right now because my ID's expired and I have to order a new birth certificate. I'm actually really? already in that process, sir, to do that. And it's just not fast enough for him and he's not liking it. So he's trying to control me. And I just, I don't like that. My mother took her twice. 
over four yeah. years ago. All right, Ms. Kingsley, you can't drive a motor vehicle on the highways of this state without a valid driver's license. And I don't, I don't drive at all. I literally don't drive. That's the restriction I'm placing on you. Like but I, I see nothing a, like, wrong. I'm not going to drive if I don't have a driver's license and not even have a car to use. Right. I see nothing wrong with a suggestion here that you must make an effort to obtain a driver's license because you say Even you're already I've doing already it. I've already been so. making that effort. All right. Then I don't I don't think that's any burden on you now, is it? To continue to do what you're already doing. I just don't feel like it should be an absolute requirement just to have stay the night here. For b lack of better language, I feel like that's dumb. Especially when I have transportation for her, that is not an issue. And even emergency transportation, if that were the case, why do I need to have a driver's license? I think it's desirable for any parent with any type of custodial rights of any kind or significant parenting time to be able to drive the child. Well, I can't uh, tell for you any how number of reasons, take Ms. Kingsley. You. Take me. I must. I don't think that the requirement's absolute, but is it desirable? Of course, it is. I mean, it's desirable just in my own personal life to have it. It's just, it's not the top thing on my priority list. Well, if, if there's a, a question that arises regarding implementation of phase two, we'll address it then. So how long All is right. this phase one? Like how long do we have to do this before it goes to phase two? Doesn't it state in here, Ms. Kingsley? I, I can't go look at it because it's on my phone at the moment. So I don't Six know visits. Call. Okay. Which I hope are 100% successful for everybody involved. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are changing the meeting locations now? Yes. On and, the front end, it's uh, the return location is. And can we also agree to... that I just I it's not even about just ignoring her. I even if I don't do anything, this girl just wants to have a problem with me you and scream at me that. or say something to me. And I would just like her to not be around at all. Like I just think that that's better for everybody. Especially yes, my stress levels. I'm going to expect each parent to regulate the, the people that they expose this child to and govern that appropriately. I've asked yeah, you to do that, Ms. Kingsley. I expect the same thing out of Mr. Rogers. They're to be part of a solution, not be part of a problem. It's just I've had witnesses to literally getting screamed at for absolutely no reason. Go same. get a job. Go do I this. Have... Go do that. I have witnesses for the same exact reason. I have witnesses of you attacking me, Taylor. Like, it's okay. I haven't it's attacked you since up. we were together. All right, guys. Okay. I'll authorize each of you to record your exchanges if necessary. Thank you. I, I think it is necessary at this point because he just wants to keep lying. <clears throat> All right. Making me seem like I'm just some horrible person and I'm not. Okay. I don't attack him. I don't do anything to him. I haven't even went outside to see him in the past three visits. There's all right. I think that we may be that. at some point in the future changing this order. At this point, the court is going to uh, issue or maintain an order granting sole legal custody to the father. This does not interfere with the mother's rights to have time with her child. I just believe that the the day to day decision making authority should be left with the father at this time. This yeah. is a temporary order. I don't fairly agree I with tend you. to make it permanent. But I believe that that uh, I think your communication, you two are so poor between the two of you that you two working together as joint legal custodians is not particularly uh, it likely. Was fine. It was completely fine until he got a girlfriend. No, we it used wasn't. to go to the zoo together with our my brother. And if we've I had to bring my old roommate in here. Together. We have always had okay. Good communication. Uh, and I feel right. like I'm Mr. Rogers, screwed over. Mr. Rogers, though I don't want to talk over Ms. Kingsley. Um, I'm just tired of feeling like You still have like the I'm Race Street railroaded. address? Yes. Race Street? Yes. Ms. Kingsley, um, just verifying. South Main, Leon? Yes. Okay. Very well. Uh, court will issue uh, an order 
uh, stemming from today's proceedings, and that will be sent out to both of you. Okay. I hope you guys can continue efforts to try to improve your communication and working together <laughs> for this child's best interest. She deserves that. Yes, I just deserve I agree. to not be stressed out over stuff that I can't control. The court at this time will conclude the hearing. Uh, the meeting may be ended for all. The court is in recess. Thank you, Ricky. Your Honor.